The spies returned from spying out the land at the end of forty days, and they went and came to Morshur and to Ahron and to all the congregation of the children of Israel, to the wilderness of Paran, to Qadesh, and brought back word to them, and to all the congregation, and showed them the fruit of the land. And they told him, and said, We came to the land whither thou sentest us, and surely it floweth with milk and honey, and this is the fruit of it. Howbeit the people that dwell in the land are strong, and the cities are fortified, and very great, and moreover we saw the children of Anak there. Amalek dwelleth in the land of the south, and the Cheti and the Abusi and the Amorri dwell in the hill country, and the Canaani dwelleth by the sea, and along the side of the Jordan. And Caleb stilled the people before Moshe, and said, Let us go up at once and possess it, for we are well able to overcome it. But the men that went up with him said, We are not able to go up against the people, for it is stronger than we. And they brought up an evil report of the land, which they had spied out to the children of Israel, saying, The land through which we have gone to spy it out is a land that eateth up her inhabitants, and all the people that we saw in it are men of great stature. And there we saw the Nephilim, the sons of Anak, from the Nephilim, and we were in our eyes as grasshoppers, and so we were in their eyes. The Midbar Numbers chapter 14 And all the congregation lifted up their voice and cried, and the people wept that night. And all the children of Israel murmured against Moshe and against Ahron, and the whole congregation said to them, Would that we had died in the land of Mithraim, or would that we had died in this wilderness? And for what reason doth Yahweh bring us to this land to fall by the sword? Our women and our little ones will be a prey. Were it not better for us to return into Mithraim? And they said one to another, Let us make a captain, and let us return into Mithraim. Then Moshe and Aharon fell on their faces before all the assembly of the congregation of the children of Israel, and Yehoshua the son of Nun, and Caleb the son of Yephonneh, who were of them that spied out the land, tore their clothes, and they spoke to all the congregation of the children of Israel, saying, The land which we passed through to spy it out is an exceeding good land. If Yahweh delight in us, then he will bring us into this land and give it to us, a land which floweth with milk and honey. Only rebel not against Yahweh, neither fear ye the people of the land, for they are bread for us. Their defense is removed from over them, and Yahweh is with us. Fear them not. But all the congregation bade stone them with stones. And the glory of Yahweh appeared inside the tent of appointment to all the children of Israel. And Yahweh said to Moshe, How long will this people despise me? And how long will they not believe in me for all the signs which I have wrought among them? I will smite them with the pestilence, and disinherit them, and will make of thee a nation greater and mightier than they. And Moshe said to Yahweh, Then the Mithrim will hear it. 
For thou broughtest up this people by thy might from among them, and they will tell it to the inhabitants of this land. They have heard that thou, Yahweh, art in the midst of this people, for thou, Yahweh, art seen face to face, and thy cloud standeth over them, and thou goest before them in a pillar of cloud by day, and in a pillar of fire by night. Now if thou shalt kill this people as one man, then the nations which have heard the fame of thee will speak, saying, Because Yahweh was not able to bring this people into the land which he swore an oath to them, therefore he hath slain them in the wilderness. And now I pray thee, let the power of the Lord be great, according as thou hast spoken, saying, Yahweh is slow to anger, and abundant in loyal ardor, forgiving iniquity and transgression, and that will by no means clear the culpable, visiting the iniquity of the fathers upon the children, upon the third and upon the fourth generation. Pardon, I pray thee, the iniquity of this people, according to the greatness of thy loyal ardor, and according as thou hast forgiven this people from Mithraim even until now. And Yahweh said, I have pardoned according to thy word, but in very deed as I live, and as all the earth shall be filled with the glory of Yahweh, because all those men that have seen my glory and my signs, which I wrought in Mithraim and in the wilderness, yet have tested me these ten times, and have not hearkened to my voice, surely they shall not see the land which I swore an oath to their fathers, neither shall any of them that despised me see it. But my servant Caleb, because he had another spirit with him, and hath followed me fully, him will I bring into the land whereinto he went, and his seed shall possess it. Now the Amaleki and the Canaani dwell in the valley. Tomorrow turn ye, and get you into the wilderness by the way to the Red Sea. And Yahweh spoke to Moshe and Ahron, saying, How long shall I bear with this evil congregation that murmur against me? I have heard the murmurings of the children of Yisrael, which they murmur against me. Say to them, As I live, saith Yahweh, surely as ye have spoken in my ears, so will I do to you. Your dead bodies shall fall in this wilderness, and all that were numbered of you according to your whole number, from twenty years old and upward, that have murmured against me, surely ye shall not come into the land, concerning which I swore an oath that I would make you dwell there. Therein, except Caleb the son of Yeponur and Yehoshu the son of Nun. But your little ones, that ye said should be a prey, them will I bring in, and they shall know the land which ye have rejected. But as for you, your dead bodies shall fall in this wilderness, and your children shall be wanderers in the wilderness forty years, and shall bear your whoredoms until your dead bodies be consumed in the wilderness. 
After the number of the days in which ye spied out the land, even forty days, for every day a year shall ye bear your iniquities, even forty years, and ye shall know my alienation. I, Yahweh, have spoken. Surely this will I do to all this evil congregation that are gathered together against me. In this wilderness they shall be consumed, and there they shall die. And the men whom Moshe sent to spy out the land, who returned and made all the congregation to murmur against him by bringing up an evil report against the land, even those men that did bring up an evil report of the land died by the plague before Yahweh. But Yehoshua the son of Nun and Caleb the son of Yephonur remained alive of those men that went to spy out the land. And Moshe told these words to all the children of Israel, and the people mourned greatly, and they rose up early in the morning, and they ascended to the top of the mountain, saying, Lo, we are here, and will go up to the place which Yahweh hath promised, for we have sinned. And Moshe said, For what reason now do ye transgress the command of Yahweh, seeing it shall not prosper? Go not up, for Yahweh is not among you, that ye be not smitten down before your enemies. For there the Amaleki and the Canaani are before you, and ye shall fall by the sword, because ye are turned back from following Yahweh. Therefore Yahweh will not be with you. But they presumed to go up to the top of the mountain. Nevertheless, the Ark of the Covenant of Yahweh and Moshe departed not out of the camp. Then the Amaleki came down, and the Canaani who dwelt in that mountain, and smote them, and beat them down, even to Hermah.